I have now had VR for over four months, and I wish someone told me what I'm about to tell you. Welcome to the channel, it's Chuck Avelli here. I appreciate you coming out. Listen, if you watch the video and it's of any help to you, I just ask that you like the video and you subscribe to the channel, cause it takes us to another level, and we appreciate it every time you do it. The first thing you're gonna wanna know before you get into VR is that it is a lot of troubleshooting. Do not think that this whole thing is plug and play and that oh i just got my new quest headset everything's gonna be all right sorry but no don't get me wrong the quest headset is very intuitive and a lot of it is not going to be super hard to learn but if you decide that maybe you want to get into pc vr maybe you want to do full body tracking maybe you want more space maybe you want to create content like me it is a lot of troubleshooting. There are so many things about VR that isn't quite set in stone yet. And because it's ever changing and updating, you gotta be able to learn stuff and keep on your toes. And this is not to discourage anyone from getting into VR. I would never consider VR rocket science. I'm just saying that if you expect your VR experience to be a smooth trip, similar to maybe if you got a PlayStation or an Xbox, it is not that yet. Maybe it will be in a couple more years. As you can see, VR is getting much more available and popular. So maybe this won't be a problem in the future when all setting systems and technologies that are VR related are much more consistent, easy to learn, and finalized. Oh, and by the way, I didn't even mention the hardware. If you have a PC that isn't really up to snuff to run VR, I mean, you didn't even give yourself a fighting chance. And if you need to know the minimum requirements for running PC VR, all you have to do is Google your headset's minimum requirements for PC and then boom, you have them. And make sure to Google for the headset that you have. Different headsets have different requirements, so keep note of that. Number two, accessories are a must. Whether you're getting Vive or you're getting Quest or shoot, maybe you're getting some other random kind of VR headset or something, accessories are a must. I myself kind of tried to dodge around it and things like that, but you're gonna want accessories sooner or later. You're gonna want a better face guard, a better head strap. You're gonna want better mics. You're gonna want better speakers. You're gonna play games where you're probably going to want more immersive experiences like first person shooters where they give you an actual VR gun to use or just golf and using like a VR stick to play it. Like there are so many accessories in the VR world that help you become more and more immersed in the game. And for people who get into VR, that's what you're looking for. It's not an endless thing of spending money, but expect to spend some extra money on accessories that you like. Especially since in the future, we are looking at full body suits for VR, VR treadmills, haptic feedback so that you can feel when a person is touching you or hitting you. I mean, dude, it's, it's gonna get crazy. So expect to keep spending, but You'll be happy with a lot of what you get, I promise you. Number three, PC VR is much better than regular VR, but it's also more of a hassle. So what, what do, do I mean, mean by, by that? that? Well, PC VR really exponentially expands what you can play and what's available to you when you do get into VR, but it's not always super simple. And it definitely increases the amount of troubleshooting that you probably have to go through in order to get certain games, in order to enjoy certain games, and do things that you were hoping to do. Especially if you're a content creator like myself, getting into PC VR, yeah, now you got the games, but now how do you record the content? I'm telling you, I have had to watch a number of tutorials on PC VR gaming and things of that nature. Again, it is not rocket science, it is very doable, but for people who probably aren't the best learners or hate to learn, it's a bit of a journey and I'm still on it. So I haven't perfected it at all. I'm still learning, but hey, if you're patient and you stick with it, PC VR is hands down the most effective route. And when they make it more accessible and easier to put whatever's on PC in the headset itself, like what Oculus Quest is trying to do, I'm sure things are going to get way better for the VR space in general. Number four, spacing and environment. You see, VR is generally a active thing. It doesn't have to be. There are a lot of VR games that you can play sitting down or even laying down if you'd like. But generally speaking, people do like the immersiveness of actually feeling like they're walking around and moving around and raising their arms and all these little things in a VR game. So one thing I definitely underestimated and a lot of people underestimate 
is movement and spacing. Make sure that you have a lot of room to do what you want in your VR space. Make sure that you know where you are. Make sure that you create boundaries within the VR headset so that it can alert you for when you're getting close to a wall or outside of your play space. These things can get very serious. Even if you're a person that's not quick to get dizzy or do too much, there are still tons of opportunities and chances for you to swing or do something that might end up hurting someone or knocking something over if your play space is not large enough. So keep that in mind, do not underestimate that. And number five, and we kind of touched on this earlier, VR is still new. And I know I'm not the only person who thought that I was just going to hop into VR and all my friends were already going to be there or they were going to join me and I was going to make all these new friends and you know just have this great immersive experience and community and so on and so forth. But you know that wasn't the case. In fact on average if you go out right now and get a VR headset you are going to be the first person in your immediate circle to ever experience VR. That's still how new VR is. And with that being said, it can be a little daunting to want to step further into the metaverse. But I really do encourage you to do so. Being the first is not the worst thing to happen. In fact, it'll put you ahead of what's probably going to be the next technological boom over the next decade or even two decades. Think about it. You're the first one to be in the metaverse and then all of a sudden you're the first one to make VR videos. Then maybe you're the first VR millionaire. Maybe you're the first person to make a good VR game that, you know, changes the world. Like, you know, what happened with Minecraft or maybe Call of Duty or even Fortnite, right? And by the way, you can always find community because you can get on Reddit. You could even get on VR chat and meet some new people, though be careful because VR chat can get pretty dark sometimes. There's also Discord servers or you can hike up your pants and strap your boots and create your own community, kind of like what I'm doing right here. And I'm sure you'll go very far. So just because it's new doesn't mean you should be scared. I recommend you keep going, keep pushing, and see me in the metaverse. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I appreciate it. Remember to like and subscribe. Chuck Vettley was in, and now Chuck Vettley is out. Peace, y'all. Have a great day.